hello and welcome to Stephen Doris Colgate's Offshore Sailing School. I'm Brian Van Leeuwen. We're here at South Seas Island Resort on Captiva Island, Florida. And today I'm going to teach you how to tie a clove hitch with two half hitches. The clove hitch can be used in many different ways. We're using it here to secure the fender to the side of our boat. Uh, for the fender, the first thing you want to do is make sure it's at the right level. If you're on a floating dock, you want it down pretty close to the water right next to the dock. Now here we're on a fixed dock, so we're going to want it much higher than that, right in line with our rub rail. And now the steps for securing the clove hitch, uh, your first step is to go around the railing of the lifeline, one full rotation, like so. Next step is to cross over the standing part, so you're crossing over, continue going around the railing, and then threading it right back through here, the same opening you just made, and pulling that tight. So now you have a clove hitch. Uh, one advantage of the clove hitch, you can easily adjust the height of the fender uh, without undoing the whole knot. So you can just feed a bit through to lower it a couple inches if you need to, to get it at the right height. Uh, once you're happy with the clove hitch, next step is to do a couple half hitches. Otherwise, the clove hitch may slip eventually. So the half hitches are very simple. Just an overhand knot, you're bringing it around and threading it back through. And it's best to do two of those and make sure they're in the same direction. So again, around and back through. So those are the steps for securing a fender using a clove hitch and two half hitches. So the first step for securing your fender using a clove hitch, remember to adjust the height of your fender. And then to tie the knot around the railing, pass it around once, and then cross over the standing part of your line continue going around the railing and then threading it right back through the loop you just made and pulling tight. So that's your clove hitch. Remember you can adjust the height if you need to by letting out some more line through the knot. Once you're happy with it, you want to add the two half hitches, which is making an overhand knot, bringing it around and bringing it through. And you want to do two of those and threading it back to that same opening you just made. So those are the steps for a clove hitch and two half hitches your fender. We hope this has been a good refresher or that you learned how to tie a new knot. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more sailing tip videos. For information on any of Offshore Sailing School's courses, please visit offshoresailing.com or call 888-454-7015 to request a quote today.